Pleasant to have you. Please, please have a seat. Welcome you today to uh, uh, to Athens and uh, uh, an opportunity for me to to thank you um, uh, personally uh, for the excellent uh, cooperation uh, we've had uh, over the past uh, uh, years uh, when it comes to protecting uh, our borders, which is both uh, a sovereign right uh, and an obligation uh, fully compatible with international um, uh, law. Uh, we know that uh, we are a continent that provides international protection uh, uh, where applicable, and we want to offer uh, legal um, um, paths to migration, but at the same time, uh, we must protect our borders against uh, smuggling networks. Uh, you're fully aware that uh, over the past two years, with the active support of Frontex, We've been able to reduce uh, flows by almost 80% in 2020 uh, and a further 73% uh, year to date. Uh, and I strongly commend uh, uh, the Hellenic Armed Forces, the Hellenic uh, Police, and especially the Hellenic Coast Guard uh, and my colleagues in government for the results uh, 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 achieved. But I would also like to uh, congratulate uh, the Hellenic Coast Guard and Frontex uh, for the prevention of uh, human life losses uh, at sea. Uh, protecting our borders not only prevents irregular arrivals, but also protects uh, human uh, lives. Uh, and uh, I would like to use this uh, opportunity uh, to again reach out to our neighbor, um, uh, to Turkey, um, uh, to uh, encourage um, uh, them uh, to adhere um, by the provisions uh, of the EU-Turkey uh, statement to work more actively uh, to prevent irregular arrivals uh, and to further reduce uh, um, migratory flows uh, against the Aegean. We know they have the capacity to do it. They also know that uh, we have uh, close to 1,500 people on the islands whose asylum applications uh, have been declined, who could return to Turkey. It would be a very important first step to enhance our cooperation if they were to accept those people uh, back to uh, Turkey. Uh, and I'm always looking forward to a constructive dialogue with Turkey when it comes to issue uh, of migration. Uh, but um, uh, uh, in, the, uh, in the context of our meeting, I would like to, to repeat my, my personal thanks to the work that Frontex has done. We will always be advocating for the uh, enhanced role uh, of Frontex, especially when it comes to return uh, operations uh, in the framework of a common European returns mechanism, uh, of which Greece is a staunch uh, proponent. And we do hope that at some point, uh, the debate regarding uh, the new uh, asylum and migration pact uh, will be completed so that we also address uh, this important issue. So again, uh, welcome and thank you for the excellent cooperation. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Prime Minister. I also would like to, to thank uh, Minister Mitahaki for uh, the excellent cooperation we have and the commanders of the, the Hellenic Coast Guard and the Director General of the Hellenic Police, which are our daily partners in the implementation of the operational plans that we have with Greece. Uh, the possibility to have this meeting today, uh, I must say, is extremely rewarding for the agency. It's uh, the recognition of the role played by Frontex as the European Border and Coast Guard Agency. It's the recognition of hundreds of uh, women and men deployed in the Frontex operation hosted by Greece. And I must say that uh, this is encouraging uh, in order to deploy further the European Standing Corps. Yesterday, when I arrived in Greece, in Athens airport, I could meet for the first time uh, a group of members of the Standing Corps deployed at uh, the main airport of the country. This shows that uh, we are able more and more to support, as you said, Mr. Prime Minister, in different uh, kind of activities. Irregular migration is uh, a part of our mandate to uh, monitor, detect, address, including return. And I would like to reiterate our commitment to support 
all member states, and in particular Greece, uh, with return activities. And as soon as readmissions will be again possible uh, from the Greek islands to, to Turkey, we are ready to support Greece and to cooperate uh, with uh, Turkey and all third countries involved in return. So that's part of our mandate. And uh, I can just repeat that we are working on that. We are also working on uh, increasing our contribution to the fight against irregular, uh, sorry, the fight against uh, criminal activities, all kind of security concerns at the external borders. And we are also working uh, with all member states and with Greece uh, also in building capacities, border management capacities. We discussed, for example, about the ETIAS, uh, which is uh, building a capacity uh, which is probably very important to, to have more tourists coming again uh, in a country like Greece. So we are uh, fully committed to, to support Greece, very grateful for the excellent cooperation because uh, Greece is uh, the showcase of the European Standing Corps and we are very proud to deploy it to your country. I would like also to thank Frontex for their cooperation in the last many years in protecting our common European borders. It is very critical when Europe is trying to discuss the new pact on migration and asylum to ensure that Frontex maintains its critical role in protecting our common borders. Europe should facilitate legal migrations, but at the same time should fight smuggling networks. We should not allow ourselves to see incidents of mass irregular migration like Evros or like the current situation in Spain happening ever again. And uh, I think it is important that all the European institutions continue to support Frontex in executing their mandate. It is inconceivable that uh, migrants and refugees can be used as geopolitical pawns uh, to put pressure uh, on the European Union as a whole. Uh, and uh, I think we need to be very, very strict uh, when this happens. It did happen last March um, uh, uh, at our land border with Turkey. It happened again uh, a few days uh, uh, ago uh, in, uh, in North Africa. So we need to be very, very clear that we will not be put uh, under pressure by countries that choose to use uh, migrants and refugees to put pressure on the European Union for whatever interest they may have. So this is, a, I think, a political message that needs to be sent at the highest possible uh, level, at the level of the European um, Council. And of course, we have um, uh, the capacity at the European level through Frontex and at the national level um, uh, through uh, our Coast Guard, our, uh, our police, with the support whenever necessary of our armed um, um, uh, forces. Uh, to make sure that we uh, impose this uh, policy, that uh, we keep legal paths to migration open, but at the same time uh, that we protect uh, our, uh, our borders. We've proven that we uh, can do it, and if necessary, we will do it again. So again, thank you. Thank you very much for your presence.